Hello and welcome back to the Commissioner's Office. My name is Ryan and today we're opening more Pokemon cards. Today we have the Pokemon Center exclusive Temporal Forces ETBs featuring Iron Leaves and Walking Wake. I have not opened these yet on my channel. All I've opened was the Walking Wake, but this was just a run-of-the-mill everyday Walmart ETB that I picked up on release day. But today we're going to jump into these. They have some specific exclusives to Pokemon Center, basically just two extra packs and maybe some better counters or something like that. Nothing of real note, but I do like buying the Pokemon Center exclusive products. Uh, but we are also opening two booster bundles, which also have six packs in them each. That's gonna wind up to mostly a booster box worth of booster packs to open. So without further ado, let's jump into opening some Temporal Forces Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs. Check it out. Just a short walk to the commissioner's desk and we're here. We're ready to open some Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer boxes from the newest set from Scarlet and Violet, Temporal Forces. Very much liking this set already. It is a ton of fun to open. It's got some very cool cards. It's got the Ace Spec cards and then it's got some very cool um, new forms of some classic Pokemon such as Suicune, Raikou, uh, Verizon and Entei, which all have these different names that a lot of them are iron this, iron that. Iron Leaves is one of them. Very nice box too. Um, I'd say a step up from Paradox Rift up here. Um, that's the Walking Wake one back there, but these are Pokemon Center exclusive, so they do have some extra stuff in them. As you can see, there's 11 booster packs instead of nine. It says you get a full art promo card featuring Iron Thorns with Pokemon Center logo on there, which is very cool. That's my boy um, Tyranitar. 65 card sleeves, 45 TCG Energy cards, which throw those away. Uh, six damage counter die, a player's guide, competition legal coin, flip die, two plastic condition markers, which again, throw them away. Uh, box to hold everything, which is this. Four dividers, which actually look really solid on here. Ooh, yeah, that's fantastic. Um, I do like keeping the, I guess I'll call it skin. Um, I do like keeping this stuff. It's kind of uh, cool to do. Oh, look, Pokemon Center. Oh, gotta, gotta promote that inside of here. And it's the same little book that we've seen before. Nothing different than the other ETBs. And we've only opened one so far. Um, but yeah, that's flashy. Ooh, was that purple, pink? Pinkish purple, a pinkish purple. So this is organized a lot nicer than years past. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Not years past, Pokemon ETBs in past. Like that actually spaced them out. Oh, there's the die, whoop de doo These condition markers are junk. Like they should put in the metal ones again. Oh yeah. Wait, there's two, right? What's going on here? Oh, there it is. I swear, uh, one ETB that I did pull before uh, did not have the Pokemon Center logo, so that one does not have it. This one's got it right there. And you know what? We'll just open this one up. Just kind of, I'm going to keep the Pokemon Center one sealed just because I only have one of each this time. Ooh, these are. That's tough. It's not a good way to do this without scissors. I got scissors. Right here. Shink. Oh, that was convenient. That flew right in there. Hope you saw that. Man, that's a nice card. Very, very nice. It's, it's Tyranitar. I don't need to call it Iron Thorns. Very cool though. I wonder what the whole story is with this. You guys probably are like, man, he doesn't know anything about Pokemon even though he opens them. That's right, I open the cards. I play the game a little bit, but I don't really pay attention to all the lore and all the stuff going on in it. Uh, this is for me, sorry. I'm gonna claim that. And then these, ooh, these are, these are solid. I'm intentionally making it glare because this these are these are solid. And then let's see. Ooh, that's nice. I like that a lot. I like that. Except I wish it was gold. I think the gold would have played really well with that. And then we'll just set this aside on the other stack of ETBs. We'll toss this bad boy in the back, and then there's your there's your energies. Very common. But uh, we also do have the booster bundles here, so we're gonna be opening. What is it? 12 plus 22. That's 33. 33 booster packs total, which is a pretty solid opening. That's essentially a booster box worth. And I do still have one booster box left uh, to open of this set, which I will record at a later date. But let's get into it. Litten, Shroomish, Lickitung, Boltund, Mudsdale, Cyphermax, Codebreaking, Iron Hands. This is a solid looking car. Croconaw, and then a Bramble Geist. A Bramble Geist. So not nothing starting off too, too hot. 
excuse me, this is a lazy day, very lazy day. Um, it is a Sunday, I won't tell you the exact date because I don't know when this is going to come out. Um, hopefully sooner than later. But uh, fiance went out to, ooh, yes, Deerling. This one has a, another card that you put side by side and it shares um, like the artwork. That's solid, that's a good pull right there. Um, <clears throat> but my fiance went out to try on wedding dresses and so I was like, well, stuck at home. I will take it. Not that she's, I don't want her here, but at the same time, I get to hang out and do this stuff with you guys. Get to enjoy a bunch of Pokemon openings. She gets to enjoy what she wants to do and hopefully find a wedding dress. All right, what are we at? Three booster packs now? Let's see what else we can get out of here. Scyther, Skitty, Salzbuck. Oh, I thought it said previous jungle, perilous jungle, Palafin, Mudsdale, and then we're gonna get an iron thorns? Iron leaves, iron leaves. I said iron thorns like probably four times uh, what I was talking about with Verizon. It's, it's iron leaves, iron thorns is Tyranitar. That's so confusing because they're all iron. Iron this, iron that. Iron Mike Tyson, why don't you? All right, so not off to a horrible start. I don't know why I'm putting some of these there and some of these not there. But let's see, what we're looking for is A-spec cards. We're looking for more special illustrator arts. Um, I don't know if these are stacked compared to other ETBs. I try not to buy ETBs too much anymore, um, except for Pokemon 151, because that's all I can find. I, I, why did they not make more booster bundles of 151? Like, they did that intentionally to, like, just, just not feed the masses. Like, that's such a better deal. Because, I mean, you don't need to spend nearly as much money on, uh, booster bundles as you do with ETBZ and a bunch of stuff that honestly a lot of people just throw away. It's a lot of waste, a um, lot of packaging with the booster bundles. It's simple. It's not a large waste of plastic. You're not in a, those collection boxes have so much plastic that just get tossed away. And I understand that's got to keep the cards still, but it's kind of ridiculous. Licky Licky, Goolurk, and a Flutter Main. Flutter Main. I guarantee you a rapper is going to come out with that name. Flutter Main. <clears throat> All right. I think we got, what, five packs left in this ETB? So it's like, the good thing about Pokemon Center ones is it, it does take longer. You get two two more packs, and I tend to show those off a little bit more um, than just the regular ETBs when I do open them. Boom, Walking Wake EX, full art. So now I have the Raging Bolt to go with this, which, I mean, they, they share the same background, which whatever, not that big of a deal, but it would be nice for more uniqueness unique New York. This one will get a top loader just because of the quality and because it's a full art card might as well. Nice. Very cool card to pull. Hope that's not it. Hope we can get a, a, a spec card or actually I, I would love to get a special illustrator of one of these finally. I've opened maybe six like I don't know 75 packs of this already with no special illustrator. I mean, I don't count the like Deerling back there as a special illustrator. I'm talking about like the big cards, Toracat, Delmize, and an Iron Valiant future card. Um, I've been toying around with the future decks. Man, it, it's 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 complicated. Honestly, it's just everything's got an ability. I'm not I'm not familiar with all their abilities. Like they just changed all the rules. Not all the rules, you know. They, the 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 um, what would you call it overall? Just the the motion of the gameplay. It's its different for me, and its I'm an older person, so it's its tougher to adapt, but I'm, I'm learning. Meltan and then a Maraidon. Nothing. So far, this ETB, is it worth it? I don't know. I don't even know what the value is of any of those. Pokemon Center, Iron Thorns is probably worth a little bit, but I don't know how in demand the Pokemon Center <clears throat> Temporal Forces ETBs were. Cottony, I think they sold out pretty quick, but you never know. Sableye. Iron Valiant, Rescue Board, Mudbray, Sawsbuck, and a Mag Cargo. Nothing to write home about. I hope that the Walking Wake ETB gives us a little bit more. I mean, this one's not done. We've got we got two packs left. You never know. Maybe we will get something. We will get something massive. You never know. Mighty Anna, Duosion, Haunter. We haven't gotten the Gengar. That would be sweet to get that. I think there's a trainer card with uh, Gengar on it, too. That would be sweet. We do have something here. I'm thinking this is Incineroar or the Walking Wake. Incineroar EX. That's a very playable card, too. I, I have noticed on the uh, TCG game, a lot of people are playing it. Um, it's just, it's easy. The more bench Pokemon your opponent has, it costs one less energy. So, I mean, typically you're only going to need one Fuego energy to do that attack, and 
it does 240 damage. Pretty good. Um, Ribombi, Hand Trimmer, Rabska, Dropper, nice. Relicanth, Illustrator, Rare. That's a good one. I'm a fisherman, so I dig on the fish Pokemon, especially Relicanth and Vesquil Legion. I just think they're cool looking. Magikarp, of course. I mean, it's, it's Gyarados' pre-evolution form. That's pretty solid, though. Very cool. Reminds me of the Blastoise in the depths from 151 that I just cannot pull. And I tell you what, before we get into the ETB, we will do a booster bender. Um, see what, see what we can get out here. See if these booster bundles can, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if, if booster bundles are more randomly packaged than ETBs. Like I feel like ETBs have like a, uh, like a par, like a par, like you're gonna only pull this many of this. And like, I do think booster bundles have a little bit more um, rarity. What would you call it? Not rarity. Randomness? A little bit more randomness to them. But we'll see. We got six booster packs out here. These are much better priced. These are what, like, maybe on the best side you could get them. 24 bucks, 23.97. I know that's a weird price to throw out there, but that's what I always see. Full Metal Lab, Golurk, Shaman, Minchino, Chargebug, and an Iron Thorns. I feel like just a lot of the basic cards in Temporal Forces are bringing on the new... Um, style of gameplay so they're important like they're not putting so much emphasis on v cards or ex cards to 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 a point but a lot of these ancients and futures they you, you have to have like x amount in your discard pile to do stuff it's just yeah there's a lot zero aura great tusk iron valiant and a roaring moon that's pretty interesting two ancients and an, and a future that's probably the best thing you can get right there and it's just but you get so many of these iron valiants of the Iron Thorns, Roaring Moons. Like, you get so many that it's, like, kind of annoying. Unless they can be valued at something because people need them to build their decks. Good, then I'll, I'll sell a ton of them. I will do what I gotta do. But so far, nothing, right? Was the Relicanth out of here? I don't remember. I already forgot. Maybe. Haunter, Pikachu, Ghastly, Fortress. That's good. Let's see if we can get the Gengar with both of these in here. Heatmore, get out of here. Oh, nice. Sweet, we got a special illustrator art and we got the walking wake. Very sick, very cool. A lot more blue than I thought it would be, but this is high quality right there. Bramble Ghast. Ooh, that's that little whatever that would be considered, like a necklace or something. You see that going right there, like a scar? That looks really cool. Oh, it's just it's leaves. I'm an idiot. Very nice, very high quality, very good centering on here. Sick card. Very first special illustrator art. That took forever to pull. That was about, like I said, 80, 90 packs in, right? Eh, maybe not that many, maybe, but cool. We got two walking wakes right there. I think there's, what, one more version, just the basic EX. What pack was that out of? I don't even know. Is it on the top? It was out of a wa walking wake pack. That's cool. Interesting how that works. So very cool. So far, successful opening. I think that's a quality card that's, I don't know, probably not worth that much. I think I only saw those going for like 30, 40 bucks, maybe maybe 40. I don't think much more than that though. Roserati, Delcaddy, Shift Tree, and a Feraligator, which is more like a T-Rex than an alligator. Still prehistoric, I guess. But now, let's see what we're gonna get out of the last two packs in this booster bundle. I think we'll open the next booster bundle too and end on the uh, ETBs, just cause that's kind of what the theme of this one is. So starting it and ending it with those. Perilous Jungle, Shroomish, Boltund, get out of here. Is this a walking wake? Oh, Gouging Fire, nice. So that's like the Entei. Kind of reminds me of Majora's Mask, Legend of Zelda. If I, I, Does anybody else see that? Like just kind of the style. That's cool though. So we got two of these. So we, now we got all three of them already. Walking Wake, um, Gouging Fire, and Raging Bolt. And actually I have Raging Bolt sitting just here which is kind of funny, but all three of them have that same kind of background. Do any of these go together, like, in any specific way? I guess that would be... Just trying to make these connect. Let's see. I don't know which one would go where. Do any of them? I don't know. I mean, this one looks like it connects a little bit. I don't know, but very cool. I'm just going to... Raging Bolt, you can sit there and hang out with your buddies. That's cool, though. We got all three of them. Very, very neat. I don't remember if there is one for Iron Thorns or Iron Leaves, but that this is a good booster bundle. Those are two heavy hitters. 
a walking wake and a gouging fire. It's pretty nice. So I'm I'm okay with that so far. Um, booster bundle coming out on top. Rimbombi, Dudun Sparse, Roaring Moon, and a Karaidon. Those ancient Pokemon. Very cool. Good start. Good start. What are we? 11 plus 6, 17 booster packs in. So yeah, 34, 34 booster packs total. I do have two knives here. I don't know why I used the other one before. But uh, again, only only two packs less than a booster box. But I do think with the variety of products, you do get a better chance of pulling more because I think that booster boxes, again, give you a par. You can only get so many, but I, I did pull two Ace Spec cards out of the first booster box that I pulled, which was great, but no special illustrator on it. It's kind of sad. It was a sad day in the in the commissioner's office, but that's okay. So far, no Ace Spec cards in this video. We're looking to get like four or five more, I think, to finish off all of the Ace Specs, but you know, there's a nice variety of them. Tour to Mortar, do we have the other one? Nice, Chinchino. Chinchino, very pretty background on that one too. Very cool card. That's that's one of the coolest. These are so colorful. The Charger Bug was a very um, good surprise the other day. That's a, That was a cool one. Charger Bug is very uh, glittery, very, not glittery, shiny. It's just, it's just shiny, not a shiny Pokemon, but it's just, it's just shiny. It's pretty, it's a pretty card. I don't even need to bring Dragonite up for this video. It seems like we've had a lot of luck. That Walking Wake EX is sick. But let's get something else to match it. Let's get... I want to get the Raging Bolt. I think that's what I really want. Sawsbuck, Cypher Maniacs, Code Breaking, Behim Him, Snom. I would like the Snom Illustrator, though. That one looks sick. And a Scizor. A Scizor. Whoever that person was that left that comment, they was like, speaking of pronunciation, it's Scizor, not Sizor. It's like, jeez. Must be a speech teacher or something like that. Like, you know, thanks for watching, but you know, they don't need to be rude about it. It's just, it's, it's a what? It's how I pronounce it, big deal. Like somebody says library? Yeah, that drives me nuts, but it's not the end of the world, kid. I'm assuming you're a kid, not 890, but just saying. He just like ran to the comments like, oh, I can't believe he pronounced it that way. What an idiot. It's like, Jesus, Merrill. Mist Energy, Sandy Shocks. Is that the first time we pulled the Mist Energy in this video? Nuzleaf, Lickitung, which could just go to say like, is it is it very playable or is it so playable that it's just hard to pull? What is it? As long as this energy, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides colorless energy. Prevent all effects of attacks used by your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. This card is attached to. Sure, I'm, yeah, I, I can see that being a, a good card to be playing especially because a lot of these have a ton of colorless energy in them. I don't understand that with Temporal Forces. It seems like a lot of Pokemon have a lot of colorless slots um, for their energy cost, which it just seems excessive, which is great. I mean, less less energies in your deck. Boltund, Azumarill, Karkul, and a Drampa for your grandpa. I love saying that. A Drampa for your grandpa. Walking Waker, are you going to do it again? Are you going to have another big hitter in here? And again, no ace specs so far. No ace specs. Elgheim, Meltan, Rapidash, Boltund, Mudsdale, Roly, Cody, Zero Aura, and another Roaring Moon. How many do we have of that? What, four, five already? Seems a lot. Down to our last booster pack in this booster bundle. So far, all we got was Chinchino. Or is it, I don't know, is this kid gonna come again? It's Cinecino, it's Cinecino. Did I already? Nope, I did not do the coat card. There it is, because I, I, I saw that border. And I was like, oh, maybe that's going to be a good card. And I'm going to ruin it, but I didn't. Sizzlepeed, Mudsdale, Explorer's Guidance, Cole Ossel, Hanekill, Litten a Kitten, and then a Dudun Sparse. Rather lackluster booster bundle. But now I got the walking wake up here. I just decided to put it up top instead of putting it down below me. Um, but this is the last thing we're opening. 11 booster packs again, pretty much the same stuff, but we're gonna pull out the spacers and the uh, sleeves and just see the big difference between them. Um, both probably pretty cool. Don't ever do what I just did. I pulled that towards myself, could have easily cut my hand, but I'm a victim of circumstance because I'm doing this on a desk in a confined area. Um, this one's nice. I like the purple flashy, but I think the iron leaves one was, was actually more solid. Except um, it's, it's just got a lot more of this purpley, pink, glinty kind of quality. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. We got another Pokemon Center exclusive in here. 
Um, so there's Flutter Main, which why 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 Flutter Main? There's the Pokemon Center logo right there, so you can see it. We're not gonna open this one out of the packaging. I don't see any real reason to. Just throw these right in the trash. There are the die, which wow, whoop de do big difference. Slightly green and then slightly blue. And then we got the nine. Oh, I'm sorry, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Just one time I would love if there was an extra booster pack on accident. I have definitely gotten one ETB that had, um, well, I'm going to use that before you guys even get a chance to do it. Um, ooh, this one does have gold. Sweet. Oh, those are solid. I wish the gold was on the iron leaves one, though. These, these are okay. I don't know. Iron leaves, I think, is, is better in my opinion. And then the energies. Oh, and then the spacers. Let's see if these are better, though. Um, these are better. These are better than the iron leaves. I do like the iron leaves color though. These so solid, solid, not bad, not bad. You know, everybody's just going crazy about spacers. I don't know. ETBs need they need to do something new. Um, I don't think what they include are top tier anymore, especially because the coins that come in them are just little plastic, and then the condition markers are just the same. It's just the same. Same old thing, same boring stuff, but you know, I still love Pokemon. It's just we got to do better, especially with the packaging. We waste so much stuff, and Pokemon is such a huge thing. So, what do we got here? A shift tree. Now, this one looks like the one I can't remember. Was it Crown Zenith? I remember uh, King Gambit had a card that kind of had the same kind of look to it, but I definitely think it was another shift tree. Um, this one's solid. Choose three of your opponent's bench Pokemon. If you do, shuffle all your opponent's bench Pokemon that you didn't choose and all cards attached to those Pokemon to, into the deck. Wow. That's a stage two, yeah. So that's a... That seems like a very powerful play right there. If you can get that Pokemon evolved and boom, pull them out, do that attack, then you're just probably going to sacrifice your shift tree after that. Um, you'll probably get a knockout on it, but then you can hopefully bring in um, your next Pokemon and finish them off you know maybe play like a uh, an Iono or a uh, judge and like lower how many cards they have in their hand that would be pretty nice Ekans which is snake backwards Screamtail Iron Valiant Relor which is roller backwards and then Sol Solosis and then a Gengar EX about time it has been impossible to pull Gengar. It would be cool to get the full art. I'm sad that Gengar did not get a secret illustrator art, but that's okay. Whenever your opponent attaches an energy card from their hand to one of the Pokemon, put two, two damage counters on that Pokemon. Decent. Good way to get some damage counters on them. And then Tricky Steps does 160. You may move an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon to one of their benched Pokemon. Kind of, kind of risky right there, you know, because then you're just putting energies on them like that. Is it basic? Did it say basic energy? Move an energy. So, I mean, you could use a crushing hammer um, right after that, you know, and just get it off the Pokemon that it's currently on. And then um, if all else fails, use the crushing hammer and hopefully get a heads and discard it. Sharkpedo, Metagross, Roserade, Wiglet, Latias, and then a <laughs> Roaring Moon again. So what do we got left? Like nine, eight? What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so it's eight total. I already messed that up. Yeah, eight. All right, all right. Are we gonna get some of the big stuff here though? Cause so far we got the Gengar. No A specs though, this is crazy. I don't think I just showed the uh, code card, but that's okay. I will show it at the end. Perilous Jungle, Unpheasant, Iron Valiant, Breloom, and an Iron Valiant. There's the energy and then there's your code card that you guys can use to claim. And be quick with it, because there have been a couple times where I've had stacks and I don't throw them away and I just kind of go through them and I'm like, all right, used, 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 and then it's a couple of them are like, oh, you can use it. Kind of are, uh, are, are claimed, you know, it's like somebody definitely didn't get them all. Totodile, Deerling, Pydove, Iron Julius, <laughs> Delmise, Deerling, Meryl, and a Dudun Sparse. So it's, it's, this is a tricky set. I like it. But it's definitely, oh, six. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe we had nine, but I just didn't see it. Um, I think it's a tricky set to pull like the really big hits. Because so far we've only gotten that. We haven't gotten an ace spec card out of here. And we haven't, we've only gotten one gold and that was an iron leaf. So it's been, it's been a bit difficult to get the really big stuff. Future booster energy capsule, which made its debut in Paradox Rift. Coridon, a Carcoal, and then a Gouging Fire. Okay. All right, now we finally got a gouging fire of that version. I think, or no, 
I think we already did pull one of those. Um, but, you know, need it. If we want to build an ancient deck, I'm assuming that's going to be one of the cards that you just have to have. Gengar is just like, I'm not an ancient, I'm not a future, I'm just a basic OG 151 original. And um, I'm awesome. Mawile. Meditite. Did I show you guys this? I don't know if I did or didn't. Meditite. Tutnide. Hoot Hoot. Vicovolt. Latias. Great Tusk. Victini. Piedove. And a Whims... Whim... Whimsicott. Whimsicott. I always say Whimsicott. It's just whatever. Whatever. That kid with his pronunciations is gonna attack me again online and I'm gonna cry. I don't care. Roselia, Cutie Fly, Drillbert, Reller. I've noticed that none of these have that little defect on the top right. At least I haven't noticed so far. Sandy Shocks, Beldum, Electabuzz, and a Flutter Main. Aspiring new rapper, Flutter Main. All right, what are we down to? Four? Three? Oh gosh. Three left. Three to hit some big, big cards. And the question is. Will we do it? Like a gold would be nice, an ace spec would be awesome. I cannot believe we didn't get an ace spec. I thought they were more common than this. Uh, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, Iron Treads, Grubbin. We got something here. Litten the Kitten. Now, I love this card. I can relate because I have cats. I have two cats. Very awesome kitties. And they're both sleeping. This is like the first time where they have just like kind of slept and chilled out while I was doing a video instead of walking around my feet and just kind of bugging me. But it's so quiet here in the apartment right now and they're loving it. They're loving the quietness. They're loving the peace. They do like hearing this crinkle though. Maybe that'll... Come here, babies. No, I'm just kidding. Oh God, one of them did move and perk up her ears. I just looked behind me and she's like, what? Do you really want me to come over there? I thought you were having your fun time right now, daddy, with your... With your card opening, Snake Backwards, Rapidash, Bolt Hunt, Minchino, Lickitung, and a Maridon Future card, which you're gonna have to use that to build a future deck. And then we're down to the very last booster pack. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Share, definitely, definitely share. Subscribe for free, like it, comment. You, I just said it, just in a different order. Up, oh, bada bang, bada boom. There's the defect. Yamper, Toracat, Grubbin, Frostmoth, Buddy Buddy Puffin, Zeraora, Sharkpedo, Great Tusk, Lit in the Kitten, and a Mac Cargo. Bunch of nothing right there. Still had a very fun time doing this. We got a variety. We did get a good variety of stuff. But we did not get the Raging Bolt out of this video, so that could go aside here. But what did we really walk away with that's awesome? Definitely the Walking Wake. Yeah, Walking Wake. What else do we got here? We got a lot of EX. Gengar, probably the best one that you'd want. Maybe Gouging Fire, Scizor. And then these, so let's see. What did we get here? We got the Gengar EX, the Scizor EX, the Gouging Fuego EX, the Iron Leaves Future EX. We got the Incineroar EX, which I didn't put a sleeve on that. I'll do that in a minute. Litten the Kitten Illustrator Art, Chinchino Illustrator Art, Relicanth, Deerling, and Shift Tree. So we, it, it's fun too, because I'm not getting any duplicates of these. So that's, that's very convenient. But then we did end up with the very big Walking Wake. That's sick. That is awesome. Gouging Fire EX, also very cool. And then the Walking Wakes EX Ancient Full Art. Um, very neat. No Ace Spec cards, but hope you guys can forgive me with that one. I don't control what I pull. All I can do is try to pull what I can. So anyways, thank you guys for joining the Commissioner's Office. I appreciate all of you. Love you guys watching. It gives me a thrill just to watch how many hits I get on these uh, videos sometimes. But until next time, Commissioner out. Bye.